what's up guys so my name is emma and i run the tiktok account books by red i think i'm not for sure i'll put it somewhere because i can't remember how i spelled it but today i'm going to be making a tbr jar which means i'm going to take all the books off my shelf that i have not read but i'm interested in reading because there's some on here that like might be hand-me-downs for my sister and my mom that i have but i'm not necessarily i guess interested in so i'm gonna take i'm gonna leave those up there but i'm gonna take down all the ones that i've either have not read but really want to read or that i've read a long time ago or like i read too fast and i don't really remember all the main points that happened so i'm gonna take this off my shelf here in a minute and then i'm going to write the title on a card which i'll cut these up so i don't waste so many and then i'm gonna put them in the jar and then i'm gonna keep that on my bookshelf so next time i need a new book i'll pull something out of there and then i'll read that instead of so i got 10 new books for christmas well i guess with my christmas money and instead of reading one of the like 50 60 books on my here that i have not read yet i read one of my new books which i probably shouldn't have but do i regret it at all no because i have maybe 20 pages left and i started it yesterday afternoon and it is like six o'clock the next day so did i stay up really late reading this yes do i regret it at all absolutely not so I'm going to go through, take off maybe 30, if I can find like 30 books on my shelf that I either read a really long time ago and need to reread so I can remember what happened. I just want to reread it in general or that I have not read at all. And then I'll tell you what books they are and then I'll write them down and put them in the jar. <laughs> Okay, so you can't see off camera is how many books I just pulled off my bookshelf. It's, oh, wait, I'm gonna add these. I read this so long ago, like so, like fifth grade, long ago. We probably shouldn't be reading that book in fifth grade, but like fifth grade long ago. And there's just so many that I've read so, so, so long ago. That, like I literally just can't even fathom I guess, or like remember at all what happened, or ones that I like sped read, because I was going through like, oh, guess how many books I read this week. I kind of went through that phase, and I wanted to tell people how many books I read, which means I sped read all like like thirty books in like a month or two, in like two months. But it means like I didn't process or like really pay attention to what happened. So I guess I'll start over here, or I'll start with my book of the month books that. So I shared my book of the month book account with my mom and my dad. So books that we we kind of decide to get them together. Or like if there's a book I really want in the book of the month, then I'll choose it. But if there's ones that either of they either of them want, then they can kind of veto my book because they pay, I guess. It was like a Christmas gift for me, but they continued it on for me for a little longer. So if they want a book, I let them get it instead. So starting off with all... There's a lot of book of the month books because I have, I think, 24, maybe. Le maybe I have about two years worth of book of the month books. So first there is A Flicker in the Dark, which I'm just now getting really into mysteries. I went through a long time where I just kind of stuck with romance, mostly just, yeah. I really only read romances, some like sad books. But I'm getting more into mysteries, so I really do want to read like a lot of these are mysteries that I just never read. And so I really want to read A Flicker in the Dark. And then, oh, by Stacey Willingham. And then next we have Girl Forgotten by Karen Slaughter. It's my mom's favorite author. She loves Karen Slaughter. And so I was like, maybe I should read it. So there's that one. And then we have Not a Happy Family by Sherry LaPena. It seems so good. It sounds so good. So I, a lot of these are book of the month books. But when I buy my book of the month books, they just like come... And they're like books that you like have, you don't have to choose one, but like I like to have one. So I always choose a book every month. And then sometimes I just choose books that are the least in uninteresting to me. So I just kind of choose the best of the worst, I guess. Because a lot of them are always like historical fiction, which I'm not really into. And so I'm always just kind of choosing whatever I want. So next we have Darling Girl, which I started, but then... I bought a bunch of new books like hockey romances and those will always take top priority for me and so I decided to read that one instead but this one just seems so interesting and I just I finally want to read it 
The Invisible Life of Addie Lore. I started this book. I think I finished it, but it was a while ago, maybe. I don't know. I think it's one of those ones that I just read read because everyone was talking about it and everyone was reading it. And I just kind of want to be included. So I was like, oh, let me read it. And so I read it. And I sped read it. So I really have no idea what goes on in the book, if I'm being honest. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I have read. And I didn't want really to speed read it, but I read it kind of right when I got it, which was like the beginning of the month. And so I don't really remember exactly what happens. Like I know the big points. Like I can remember like each of the husbands and, you know, other things that I'm not going to spill because I don't want to spoil it. But... I just kind of want to a refresher course, I guess, and reread it if I pull it. Like, I have no problem with that. So next we have People We Meet on Vacation, which I could never get myself to read. Especially when it was, like, super popular. Like, I think I might have started it. I can't, I honestly can't remember. This was one of my first book of the month books I got. But I honestly cannot remember what happens in this book at all. And one of my friends tried, she borrowed it from me. And she, she's not a big reader or anything, but she was like, I could not, I could not finish it. And I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to read it then. Then we have The Last Thing You Told Me, which I've read, but it's another book I sped read. I sped read, maybe? Is that how you say that? But I need to stop doing that because a lot of these books are ones that I just sped read and don't remember what happened. So then we have The Bodyguard, which I read and I loved, but I just can't remember what happened because I read it in row with a bunch of other romances. So I kind of mix them together and I hate when I do that because then people will be like, so what happens in this book? And then I'll start telling them something. I'm like, wait, that's not the right book. So I just put this one back on here so I kind of get a refresher, refresher course because I loved it so much. So I'm really, I'd be down to read it again, of course. Another book that I read and I loved but I just want to read it again. Just like if I pull it and I have to read it again, I'm not going to be upset or anything. Like I'm always down to read these books again. Okay, so update. This is what the drawer looks like. Pretty empty after all of my <coughs> book of the month books. So next we have my Great and Beach Dreams and Secret of Secrets. They're part of the 30 Love Along Highway 30A series. So it's like all the beaches in Florida along that highway. There's a whole bunch of them, but I got it on my Florida trip because I ran out of books. But I just never really, I think I started one of them, got halfway through, and then I just really wasn't into it. But I do really want to read them because they both sound really good and it's kind of cute to like imagine like, that could have been me, you know? Not really, but it could have been me. Probably not, but I just like pretend. Next I have Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton. I just got this book for Christmas, so I haven't really had the chance to read it. But the reason I didn't read it first, I read Consider Me first, but first of all, Consider Me, I had seen all over TikTok and I have like 30 TikToks saved just about that book. And so I was like, I have to, and it's hockey and I love hockey. So it doesn't hurt. I just heard it's going to hurt my heart and I don't really want to get my heart broken just yet. But if I draw it, I guess I've got to go through that heartbreak. It is what it is. Next book is the same reason I got it for Christmas. I started it and I think I got a couple chapters in. But I just, they, oh, here's my plane ticket. I just heard it was going to hurt my heart. And I just wasn't into the whole, like, heartbreak at the time. And it just, I heard it's really good through. Oh, by the way, it's, if you had been with me, I don't know if I said the name or not. But it's, I heard about, it's another book I got because of TikTok. Next I have Holding Up the Universe, which I started, I think I got, I think I read it actually. Yeah, I have like sticky notes in the back of books that I tally mark if I read it or not. So I did read it, but I'm pretty sure I sped read it and I don't think I liked it very much at the time, which I got this book in like seventh grade and I'm a senior now. So I've just, my tastes have changed. Back in seventh grade, I read a lot of, I don't even, a lot of like little kid books, I guess. I didn't really age up until lately. I used to have all the right places, which I've read and, and watched the movie. But I really want to reread it because it's coming back. I've seen a couple extra TikToks about it. And I definitely want to get into it and read it again. This is where it ends. I don't know why I put this in my stack. I've read it like twice. But it's I'm always down for a bit of heartbreak, I guess. It's such a good book. And it's so well written. But it's just so, so, so sad. But it's like... I always read it. And I just like the reminder of what happens. Because I, I do really love the book. It's a really well written book. 
and I just I didn't I haven't read it lately so I don't fully remember because I my brain's not big enough to remember everything that happens in every book I read so I do reread the ones that I know I loved just so I can always have those in the front spot of my mind next we have Waking Olivia which I saw on TikTok not lately but when I put it on my list of books to buy it was on my TikTok and so it's like a track romance he's her coach I think but it is it's supposed to be really good but it's another book I got for Christmas so I haven't really had time to read it yet so next I have The Lost in the Cellar by Natasha Preston they're both off Wattpad which is where I started which I still read sometimes when I only have my phone on me I just haven't gotten around to them and again with like the I've never really been into like the mysteries but lately I have been getting more into them so put these in here so that maybe I will finally read them next we have The Cruel Prince which I have read and I just again one of those books that I read along with a bunch of others so it's kind of like I just want the reminder of what happens but I'm always down to read it again it's such a good book last in this stack before I write those down and put them in thing is the way I used to be which is another heartbreak one that I know is gonna hurt me but I did get it for Christmas well I bought it myself with my Christmas money so I do need to read it but I haven't had the chance to so it's not like a I didn't want to kind of thing it's like I need to but I haven't yet but I will now write those down and put them in the jar which hopefully it gets a little more full okay first stack of non book of the month books is done this is how this is looking pretty empty still which kind of makes me feel better about myself but i keep having to re-record because i keep running out of space on my phone because i'm saving up for a camera which i haven't bought yet so my phone is gonna have to work for now so this next stack of books a lot of them i haven't read but i want to or i love and i just want to reread them which this one they both die at the end is one i just really want to reread i just love it so much i can't get over it honestly it just it's so good it's so good i you don't need much of a description on that but i'm putting it in there just so that i can have the chance to reread it if i need to red white and royal blue i read and i loved it it just got kind of sucked in with a bunch of other books it was in one of my it's like the opposite of a reading slump. Like, instead of not reading any, I'm just book, 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 book. Like, it's just book after book after book. And I just need that kind of reminder. But I do love this book, and I would just love to read it again. Punk 57. No comment. Would love to read again. Kill Switch I got for Christmas. Well, I bought with my Christmas money. My parents don't like to buy me books. And I don't like when they buy me books. Because do I want my parents to know I read this? Not really. So they give me money and I buy my own books. So Kill Switch is just one I just got and I haven't had the chance to read it yet, but I really want to. Same with the Daughter of the Siren Queen. I have read, it's too far back there, I can't bend that much. I've read Daughter of the Pirate King like a, two years ago and I just never got around to buying the second one. So if I do draw this one, I think I'm just automatically gonna reread Daughter of the Pirate King and then before I read it. Next we have two books from the Briar, Briar U series, The Risk and the Chase. I just have not read these. I just, I love the deal. I'm not really big on same universe kind of series. Like I loved Terms and Conditions and why can't I remember what, Fine Print. I love those because it's kind of like, they didn't really mix very much, but like I don't know like there's these the chase and the risk from Briar U and I just haven't gotten around to those and then the score and the mistake I both I read both of these right after I read the deal but I just love the deal so much that I just kind of skim re read these just because oh you have to read them they're part of the series kind of thing I don't even have the full series but I do need to reread these because I don't even remember what happened in them so I literally can't even remember who they're about I just know that my fave Dean is in one of them and my other fave Logan is in the other. So I love my babies. Oh yeah, we've got Dean and we've got Logan. Sorry, John Logan, but that man is Logan in my heart. I'm just gonna do the next stack cause I'm, that one's went too fast. Girl in Pieces, loved it. It's one of the only books that I actually have tags in. I didn't tag very much of it, but I do have tags in it. I. No comment. Really want to reread it. 
it's just this one is my favorite book ever i've never seen this on book talk which makes me feel good about myself but the girl he used to know by tracy garvis graves is a godsend i love this book with my whole heart and i just want to reread it because there's a lot of romances and i just kind of mix it up with others but it will always be number one in my heart and i want to reread it where she went i read three years ago when my sister went to college because she gave it to me this was a hand-me-down and i just read it a while ago would love to reread it every summer after no comment just want to reread it would love to reread it and that same with you've reached sam i loved it and i would just love to reread it if i could the fault in our stars and turtles all the way down i just read so 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 long ago and I just, they need to be reread because it's been that long. I'm just going to finish off all my books and then I'll write them all down and show you. Next we have Pieces of Georgia. It's, I got it from a thrift bookstore, which it's in perfect condition for being in a thrift bookstore. But I've never heard of it. And I just really never have that drive to read it. But it's really short. I think it's sad, but I do need to read it. Next we have my stack of all Colleen Hoover books that I spe speed read. We have Verity speed read it. Without merit. I'm just gonna tell you all these because I speed read all of them pretty much. Except for Layla. I just have never read, which I would love to read it. I just never read it. Reminders of Him and Regretting You. I just went through those because I just loved It Ends With Us and it's maybe it starts with us. I didn't like it very much. Personally, don't don't attack me for that. I didn't really like it starts with us very much, so I kind of skimmed it. So I need to reread it because I love it. It ends with us so much that I do want to finish their story. Heartbones and All Your Perfects, I just loved so much, so I want to reread them. These ones I didn't speed read. I read them and I loved them and I cherished them, but I would just love to reread them. And then the final book is the American Roommate Experiment which I just got for Christmas, so I haven't had that chance to read it. But my sister read it, and she loved it. My sister's also a big reader, so she read it, and she loved it. And so I'm going to write all these down on paper and put them in here, and then I will update you after. Okay, so final update. Oh, excuse my jacked-up knee from volleyball. These are all of my books, which I also how many there were. Like, this really doesn't look like much. Let's check it out. Here in a minute, I will draw because I'm about to finish Consider Me and I do need a new book to read, which I'll let this choose. I'm kind of nervous though because like, you know how you always have like that feeling like what book you want to read? It's kind of that thing. But that is it for today. I will draw a book. Let's see what is my next read. It's The Score by L. Kennedy, which... I have nothing against. Where is it? It's somewhere in here. Here. Okay. I honestly, the score is a book I do really want to read. The thing is, I don't know if it's just me, but when I read a book about like Hannah, Hannah and Garrett, I love them so, so, so much, which like, I like it to be all about her kind of thing. Like I like it, her romance, all about everything that she goes through kind of thing. And I just fell in love with Hannah. And so now being about Allie, it's just kind of like, I feel like I'm cheating on Hannah kind of thing. Like, I just want to know about her love life. So, like, I guess this is my next read. Good to know. Good to know, I guess. But just, like, to clarify, when I say speed read, it just kind of means, like, I didn't sit down and take my time. Like, consider me, I read for probably about eight hours straight. Not straight, but like about like six hours yesterday and like a couple hours today. And so it's like I take my time, I process, I react, I like, I have fun reading it. And I just, some of these books I just kind of like, if it didn't seem important, I'll like skip a couple pages just because I want to get through it. Just because I want to read it, like I, in my brain I know I want to read it. And then just like once I open the book, I'm just kind of like, do I really want to read it? So that'll be it for today. I don't know why I put that piece of paper. Please tell me I didn't put it back in the jar because that'll be upsetting but that's it i will put my i don't have a book instagram i only have my personal one so i don't think i'm gonna put that on there but i will write my tiktok i think i put it on in early the earlier in the video 
so there's my tiktok that's the only really book related thing i have i'm kind of new but i do love to post about my books and i love to read so i do have my amazon wish list in my tiktok bio so i do have it set to where you can send me any book which if you haven't noticed i have kind of the same books so i do want to widen my horizons and kind of read more and see more like types of romance mystery and everything but yeah that's it thanks for watching subscribe if you want to i guess sorry for whispering all video everyone's sleeping in my house and i'm not trying to be disruptive but thanks for watching